and get young people interested in agriculture again and farming uh, because we got to grow us some farmers and that's what we're trying to do here at Wingfield High School. To be honest, I never thought I would ever be in something so amazing. Like, when I first started ag, I started my freshman year at Wingfield. And then Coach Gibson, he was like, come on out to the garden. Let's try something new. I, th I think you'll be a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been loving it. And it's been a passion. And I hope to major in it and when I attend Alcorn State University. Students really have embraced this program because they're very excited about growing their own fresh vegetables. They're very excited about the area of agriculture. We have several students already at Alcorn that have graduated from Wingfield High School who have gone on to major in agriculture at Alcorn. We have four students that we know now will be going to Alcorn after their senior year, which most of them are seniors, and they're going to major in agriculture. We're trying to just revitalize and get young people involved and, and active in, in, in agriculture again. The Alcorn State University School of Agriculture and Applied Sciences has been busy ensuring the next generation of agriculture professionals are well on their way to success. Students of the Wingfield High School Agriculture Academy in Jackson, Mississippi participated in a three-day tour that included visiting agricultural and cultural sites in both Mississippi and Tennessee. The tour hosted by Alcorn State University's Extension Program Small Farm Outreach and Technical Assistance Project was held earlier this year and is part of an ongoing initiative to ensure youth garnering an appreciation for agriculture. The purpose of the tour is to introduce, educate, and inform the students about the importance of farm management and the benefits in farming so they will be successful in farm planning as future agriculture specialists. These tours and the assistance we provide to Wingfield give students the opportunity to gain hands-on experience and see some major attractions and highlights, ensuring a better agriculture for us all tomorrow. that we want to teach kids to earn everything you get, not to expect anybody to give you anything. And we want to give them the information how to do that, how to make something for themselves rather than just ask for a handout. And to love it, to grow through it, and just as we begin to nurture crops, they begin to nurture one another. They found that nurturing and, and helping things along help them to see their place, their value, their worth. Things, one of the many, many things I've learned about working with Alcorn and as well as Coach Gibson being out here is agriculture is not just one subject, it's multiple subjects. It's more or less everything that goes on in the world. It's the building blocks of the world. Instead of it just being something you do or something you have to pass the time, it's more or less everything. You create new things, you can make something else out of other things. It's just a whole experience. I've always been a fan of hard working. I'm not, yeah, I've always been a fan of doing hard work. I'm not so well in the classroom academic wise, but I'm very well with my hands. So I just thought that I could come out here. I love seeing plants and stuff grow. I've always wondered how we come across food. So I was thinking it always had to come somewhere. And looking around in the world, I've always seen homeless people and people that need food. And with agriculture, we can grow and provide for them. I tend to invest in my knowledge a little bit more. You can always learn new things. And when I'm finished with Alcorn, I plan to have my own business. I enjoy bonding with them. We have peaceful conversations out here in the garden. It also gives us time to think. But just working with these guys has really been a blessing. And I, them would be my most memorable. in the sense that they didn't really know that Mississippi was such a such a rich place 
they, they really didn't realize that. And, and just because they come from where they come from doesn't mean that they can't tap into that resource and become the successful Mississippians that we know that they can be. So that's something that they, they really change into. Um, they don't really realize that fruits and vegetables can really set your future for you. I actually want to see this program go into, go into something where it can be um, actual businesses that can really sprout from the agribusiness. Um, excuse me, agriculture department. Um, not only with them learning about science and, and business and the history of it and the, the mathematics that's involved with it, it can be something that can grow into a, an, an entire future for this entire community and the seed. I know this is the first of its kind, but it, it'll, it'll be awesome just to see them teach others what they've learned here and let them know that where they are from, they can go further and beyond and uh, broaden their horizons. as the Central Mississippi Agriculture Educator, which covers Hines, Madison, Kapow, Simpson, and Rankin counties. Um, the Jackson Public School deem Wingfield as one of the agriculture academies. Now you have, have other two. The other two consist of Forest Hill and also Provine. Now in order to get the program started, you got to have buy-in. Buy-in here is, at Wingfield is very, very, very special because you have the agricultural instructor and the coordinator, he's a can-do person. When I say can-do person, he's an hands-on person. And he has not only motivated, not a handful, but a group that consists of 30 students who are interested in agriculture. We started at Wingfield about two years ago. And during that time, the, all the publicity that Wingfield was getting with our involvement in the programs, uh, we started advocating trying to have an urban extension. Uh, the city of Jackson have some room at the Metro Center and the thought process of working with the Jackson City Garden Initiative heard about our, our plan and not only the plan but us talking about what can happen. And they said, well, why don't you guys try to get um, some space at the Metro Center have an urban extension. And a plan started taking place with the Jackson Garden Initiative to where each ward wanted to have not only one community garden but two community gardens per ward. So we started that process, Wingfield Community Garden was one of them, and uh, along with some others in the areas. And we also used Jackson uh, State University uh, uh, land and lots to uh, provide some community gardens also. So we're not only here at Wingfield, but we started Jackson Garden Initiative as an advisor, and we have uh, more than three gardens per ward in the city of Jackson. And, Wing, and Wingfield, what we call the Green Falcons, the group that's been interviewed uh, before, they have spread their wings throughout Jackson and participated in these community gardens with the uh, Jackson Garden Initiative. Well, initially when we started, we was just, it, it was just a football team. We formed the football team into a 4-H club. But since that time uh, and, uh, and, and, and the success we had with that program, and there have been, been many people who, on the outside of Wingfield and outside of the school district who helped us out, but since that time, we've grown to have and to be able to get an, an, what is called an agricultural academy. The, uh, the Jackson Public School District actually adopted a plan of called Academies Model. And that Academies Model allowed each school to adopt certain academies where kids would declare in the 10th grade which academy or what their interest would be. And they would go through that academy, particular, that academy particular to that interest. So, with that model, we were able to establish an agriculture academy and get the kids who are interested in agriculture. So right now we have about 132 kids in the Ag Academy between 10th and 12th grade, and we have tremendous success with their learning. We actually use it to teach our math, our social studies, our English, and our science classes. And on average, agriculture students do better than any other students in the school. What people got to realize is that more and more people come on the world every day. So you got to have the best way to do to feed your family at the best way you can. Some people might, might not be financially exported to have the money to go to the store every day. So why you just not buy seeds, grow your own food, that way you won't be so much, so deep on your pockets that you won't have to be in that financial um, situation where you can go poor or go broke. Oh, to better my horizon out from taking my experience here to Wing, from Wingfield to Alcorn by Try to invent new things. See where I could best what what helps farmers 
best grow their crops, how to make the soil better, faster, quicker, without using so many chemicals. I don't think we would be nearly where we are without the expertise of all corn and its extension agents, particularly our agriculture ex extension educator, Mr. Ralph Arrington. What we do and what he has done for our program has been priceless. He actually gives us the, the expert advice that we can use that will be the most up-to-date, the most modern, most, most relevant information possible to do what we're doing. It's not just saying, hey, look, I want to be a, a ag teacher because I, I teach it. I want to go out in the garden and help people grow. Well, no, we, we have experts in the field. We have experienced agronomists who do this for a living to come out and help us to make sure we're doing it the right way by the book and we're teaching it the right way by the book. So when our students leave here, they're prepared for greater careers in agriculture and beyond. Like it was something more out there than just being in the street or just roaming the streets or trying to get into something that ain't you weren't supposed to get in that was illegal. It made us seem like, okay, we can actually do something with our lives. We see people, people came through the farm or whatever. We was at Dr. A's farm with Coach Gibson, he brought us out there. And he'll be like, okay, people coming through from Mississippi State, people coming through from all corners. We like, man, black men, you know, black women, we can be something in life. And people with backgrounds that kind of varies out, they were like, okay, I can do this. You know, I can see more in myself now. I was gonna make me push hard. Cause you growing up in the neighborhood, like we like, okay, we made it this far. Now what? People still getting shot and killed left and right. We all our black men still falling off in school. We like, man, we tired of school, we tired of this, but it just gave me motivation. And it was a mentorship out there. Even when women was mentoring us and me, you got something to look forward to, like, man, I really wanna do this. I really want to be somebody now. Back, Cause back then, we was like going through the motion. Okay, family tell you, man, graduate. I don't graduate, what's next? Just cause I graduate, it's a hundred people graduate that's still walking the same street on walk. When we saw that, it made us, it, then it, it got a bun. Like, okay, I like this. She's showing me what I can do and what I can be. And it's giving us something, a different perspective on life. Like, it's just not, it's more to just walking the street. It's more to just being in the house. Now I'm, I'm somebody. Then to see something so small grow to something so big and it nature, everybody around you, just one seed and one little drop of water can help you. And they're just like with Coach, Dr. Ayers, and, and the whole program, they was like our drop of water and they made us group. Our parents like our son, but they just dropping water, dropping water, dropping water. Because your parents are going to do so much. You need to find your own way and they the one that helped you. Don't quit. Cause we had times out there we were like, Coach come here, oh this ain't grow. Oh, oh this ain't happen. What's next to do? You can't give up. Growing from my background, it wasn't really one much to give up on. It was just, we only had one way to go, and one way to go was forward. Like, it, to see something grow, you'll see, okay, they might just get discouraged, which we did. We came back sometimes, certain things didn't work, but you gotta want it. It's just to see something, you gotta know there's something more out there. Just like in that plant, okay, isn't something more else to build. With this, you can take it on a wide range. And the hands and the connection that you meet. We met somebody almost every day we went to the farm and it was a connection. And they looked at us and they really cared and they were like, whatever y'all need, we got you. And it's just like this, you need somebody to know who's gonna be there for you. And that's what this program brought. I'm there for you 110%. Like some coaches do, they'll be there. Yeah, I'm there for you, but just for your four years or however long you in my program playing ball, but when it's over, it's over. But these people won't like that. They was here and they were with me forever. And I can still go back to the forum. I can still come back to coach and be like, hey, I coach, I need help with this. I need this. And they gonna give you 110% in whatever they do. But without this program, we would never develop those sources and their network. And get young people interested in agriculture again and farming because we got to grow us some farmers and that's what we're trying to do here at Wingfield High School.